Hey guys, uh, let's discuss more on the factors for the soil deformation. We've already seen two factors for the soil deformation that are climate and the uh, parent rock material. So in this video, we're going to see the other factors for the soil deformation, starting with the living organisms. Uh, organisms, uh, basically, they influence the development of the soil, ranging from the microscopic bacteria uh, to large mammals, including man. Uh, let's see various uh, contributions of uh, various living organisms to the formation of soil. Uh, starting that vegetation contributes to the soil fertility by adding humus in the soil uh, after drying and decomposing. Now, some plant tools also is uh, the legumes have nodules with, with the bacteria that can fix nitrogen into the soil. So it improves the, the, the form, formation of the soil. Now, also plant tools modify the soil also by increasing the porosity, that is the ability of, uh, of containers of water of the soil, improving the soil depth and the aeration. Uh, the roots also assist in the binding together small groups of particles, hence developing a crabby or granular structure of the soil. The other point is that uh, microorganisms also play a vital role in the composition of organic matter to form humus in the in the soil, so it improves and uh, forms uh, the soil. The other factor is the leaf, also known as topography. Uh, this refers to the outline of the earth's surface. It includes all land surfaces concentrated uh, in our, on our earth's atmosphere. Now, all land surfaces are constantly changing through the weathering and the erosion processes already seen uh, the concept of weathering. Now, the soils on the steep Mountain slopes are shallow and often stony and contain many primary minerals as compared to the soil that is in gentle slopes. So the structure of the land surface will determine uh, the way how soil can be formed. Now let's see that the law of topography in soil formation is mostly indirect as it influences the climate and vegetation. It controls the rate and the nature of weathering, soil erosion, surface runoff drainage, and the removal and deposition or the, the distribution of the soil parent materials. The most important aspect of topography is the fact of soil formation are the soil, are the slope that can either be uh, yet or steep, can influence the movement uh, of particles, and hence weathering and soil erosion, such forms the soil uh, altitude aspect in the location along the slope. Let's see the other factor that is time. Uh, soil formation is a very slow process requiring thousands and even millions of years. So it requires a much time. As the younger soils have some characteristics from the apparent material, that is the age, the addition of the organic matter, that is the exposure to the uh, moisture and the other environmental factors may change its features. Now with time, they settle and they abide uh, deeper below the surface, taking time to transform. Eventually, they may change from one soil type to another. Now when the soil formation has taken a long and enough time, the soil tends to be more mature and it is usually deep and well developed. So also the age of soil is determined by the development and not a chronological age. Degree of aging depends on the intensity of the other four, uh, four soil forming factors which we've discussed below before that are uh, climate, plant rock material. We've seen uh, the ways other factors that contribute to the weathering, that is topography, uh, or relief. So all those factors uh, lead and they can, can depend on the amount of time in the soil formation.
so that's all for this video so we've completed uh, the five factors that lead to the soil formation the first one is a parent root material or the nature of the parent root material we talked about the climate then we've discussed also the living organisms uh, then time and topography or leaf so that's all we'll move on to the other subtopic in our next video